Richard Southern joins us once again with a look at some of the quirky stories of the day. Uh, Richard, you know, you and I spend a lot of time out in the field as reporters, and sometimes we have to deal with the elements. We have to deal with people who want to get on TV. Uh, but uh, here's one video of a bit of a strange encounter. So, uh, Janela, CNN's uh, Joe Johns, a big reporter for them, if, if things aren't working out for him at CNN, he could probably come and work here in Toronto because he has dealt with something a lot of us, reporters or not, across the GTA have had to, to deal with. He was at the White House this morning getting ready to do a live hit before the sun even came up, and behind him came a gigantic raccoon. Here's how he dealt with it, Janela. Take a look. What? Get there he is. Ah! <laughs> so, he wasn't playing no, around. No events and then, on the president's oh, second, schedule like He today, was seconds away from his hit. Yeah, look, he's jumped right into it. He jumped right into it like a pro. Uh, uh, freaking raccoons, here, right? man. God, again, this is the second time. And it kept coming back for more. And I actually has said, that ever happened to you? Have not, you ever had something like that? I haven't had too many animals attack, but uh, I actually sent that video to FISA. Uh, if you remember last year, at the end of the year, her comp video compilation was all the times she's had to deal with animals in the wild, and she's not a fan. So That's look right, that up on cdnews.ca. And everything going after, I think, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. A pair of former U.S. prison employees are in hot water for allegedly using a form of very cruel and unusual punishment. So these uh, Oklahoma prison employees and their supervisors have been let go and they've been charged with allegedly handcuffing some prisoners and forcing them to listen to one song over and over again on repeat. Janela, any guesses? <laughs> What this song could be that got them in such hot water? I don't know. The song that never ends or something. Even worse. <laughs> even worse. Roll it. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be stuck in my head the rest of the night. I know kids love listening to it over and over again. It has six and a half billion views on YouTube. But authorities in Oklahoma say forcing prisoners to listen to it over and over again is a form of unusual, cruel punishment. Wow. And I can't disagree with them. Can you, Janelle? <laughs> you know what? Well, isn't a for like one form of torture is where they like blast music, like heavy metal music? You know, this could be just as, just as devastating. I think any song that's stuck on repeat over and over and over and over again is probably a little bit torturous. So. Yeah, they usually put the classical music on to keep uh, the ruffians away, but maybe we should start using Baby Shark instead. Yeah, maybe. We'll uh, we play it in Dundas Square. And <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> they be play classical no music time. there. Yeah. <laughs> they can replace it. All right, thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.